Hi, I'm David Pickering, and I'm one of the originals in Golden Valley fly fishing when it was first set up. We started oh, back in early 90s, 94 or something like that it was. The Golden River is coming out of a gigantic lake, and the fly fishing operation GB has is probably the first 20, maybe 30 k's of river down river from that dam. It's a classic. It's a tailwater. It's stunning. It produces cold, clear trout habitat like nowhere else in the state of Victoria through the worst of the summer when all the other streams are muddy and, and hot. Nothing beats the qualities of a tailwater below a big dam like Lake Eildon. It's world class. And I mean that. We've seen rivers all over the world and it's as good as any. Our goals are twofold. One is that we want to advance everybody's skills and taking people from square one who have never fly fished and introducing them to a system that allows them to be able to become immersed in it themselves. And much of what we've learned, David and I and Anthony, has been because we've been there doing it all the time, we can amass that learning pretty quickly. But if you only get a couple of weekends a year when you can go out and we provide that accelerated learning for people. We were the first people pretty much in the country to get a drift boat. They're fantastically stable things. It's the perfect platform to fish from. So you are sitting, or if you stand in one, you get a very good view into the river. So you've got a chance of seeing the fish you're fishing to. You can see all the snags where they're likely to be. So it's giving you advantages while you're drifting along on a drift boat. Two people in a drift boat works very well. Got one guy fishing at the front, one guy fishing at the back, and the, the guide in the middle. So you drift 25 k's or 12 k's. You put the fly in a lot of fantastic places. You are going to get, eventually, a fish that will come up. You run over the top of some of those weed beds and you're casting to the edge of your visual limit and just watching these big heads roll up out of the weed. It, it looks really, really cool. That sort of experience you just you can't get without one of these boats and without someone that, that knows the river pretty well. So you haven't got smelly fumes or batteries or any other aids for you. It's just a pair of oars, a couple of keen fly fishermen and the silent lapping of the boat as you drift down the river. And mind you, the guide's working hard because the river's full of hazards, snags and willow trees and overhanging branches. You've got to constantly manipulate the boat. So you need one person totally in control who's looking 200 metres downstream as well as encouraging the fly fisherman to put his fly in that particular place. There's a lot going on and you need professional people doing it. A lot of people think, ah, oh, it looks so easy, you just drift down the river. Think again, there's a lot of people come very close to drowning when they don't recognise that this is a, a skill that's absolutely essential before you even attempt anything like this. So the business goes on. David retired and I retired. He's got some great young blokes guiding for him now. They've all learnt all the stuff I've just talked about and they're all superb operators. Benefits of going out with Golden Valley Fly Fishing is we are on the river every single day. And I mean every day. We'll put you straight on the fish. 